What is up people and welcome to Pokemon Theory. This is Johnny and today's Pokemon Theory we're going to go over what happens to Pokemon if the Pokeball is destroyed. <laughs> So yeah, this theory may be a little weird, but what am I talking about if a Pokeball gets destroyed? For example, if a Pokeball gets destroyed like crushed or thrown into a volcano, what will happen to the Pokemon inside? The Pokemon is still compressed into the Pokeball where it's shrinked all the way down. So I'm going to be explaining a couple of theories of what could possibly happen to this Pokemon. Alright, so, so say for example, in your party you have five Pokemon, four Pokemon, and you still have a couple of more slots for more Pokemon to be in your party. But if the Pokeball that you throw, or the Pokemon inside that you have, because you know, trainers carry their Pokeballs around their, like, sort of like around their belts. Um, so what happens if you throw a Pokeball into a volcano? What happens to that Pokemon? Now I know that many people may be saying, well, the Pokeball could actually probably be transferred or the Pokemon could be transferred into a professor's lab, laboratory, wherever they keep Pokemon. So that's a possible theory. They could actually transfer themselves if the Pokeball gets destroyed and while the Pokemon is in your party, it is possible that it could transfer over to the professor's laboratory if you can't recover that Pokemon any other way. So that's pretty interesting I think that's actually probably what will happen if a pokeball gets destroyed the pokemon would just get transferred automatically fast to the laboratory so that pokemon doesn't have to die alright so the other theory is so the pokeball is getting really destroyed and crushed so the pokemon is still inside but the pokeball automatically uncompresses the whole pokemon brings it back to its original size as a pokemon and lets the Pokemon out. So in a situation where the Pokemon could be in a volcano, it could either die or it could either try and escape. Depending on the Pokemon, because if it's not a fire type Pokemon, I don't think it would survive very long in a volcano. So that's a possible thing that the Pokemon will the Pokeball will be destroyed, but the Pokemon will be like released. And you had to catch it again. Could it be a possibility that you had to catch the Pokemon again after the Pokeball is destroyed and released? And the Pokemon can actually go ahead and go back to its original size, but it has to escape from whatever it's getting destroyed unless it'll get harmed. So that's pretty interesting if the Pokemon could be destroyed. But yeah, that's pretty much it of the theory. Um uh, could the Pokemon actually be released if the Pokeball is destroyed? So that's actually a thing that the trainer has to watch out if their Pokeball gets destroyed by accident. They have to watch out or else that may be a released Pokemon and then you have to capture it. But as seem as you see as you see Pokemon are loyal to the trainer, so it'll be easy to catch back into another new Pokeball afterwards. So yeah, thanks for watching this Pokemon theory, which is what hap what could happen to Pokemon if they're Pokeballs are destroyed. Thanks for watching. Also, if you're interested in more theories, there are two boxes in the middle where you can go check out those theories.